Well, hello everyone. The Ontario Gardener here back with another automation tutorial. And today we're going to be doing garlic bread. And you may say, well, garlic bread isn't in the game. And your answer is yes. Garlic bread is not in the game. But if you go to the Steam Workshop, you can download a garlic bread mod. And basically this setup here is, is my typical from here to here, not including this stuff or the cheese. This is my typical, I'm going to run it while we're talking because it takes a while for the bread to make. This is my typical auto bread setup or even the auto toast setup, depending on what hobs you have here. But basically what garlic bread is, is basically cheese with a piece of toast. Now you may say, well, that's not actually garlic bread and you're in, and, and you are hundred percent right. But for argument's sake, the mod is called garlic bread. And, um, yeah, it, it's basically a garlicky cheese bread. <laughs> Put this one back. I'm trying to clean messes up so it looks a bit nicer. Here we go. All right, it's going to cycle through any second here. And the, the longest part is, is waiting for the dough ball to cook. But again, if you want full automation, this is how you do it. You're going to cook that up. The smart grabber is going to grab it. And there you go. And the board, red board will be automatically put on here. Now, you could, avoid, you, could annoy, you could omit having this part. You could manually do the breadboards by setting them here and just putting them here because you do have to bring these back. Uh, so you could interpret this however you want. If you'd have a teleporter here, you could teleport the bread, the, like the cheesy bread somewhere else and have this little bit of a setup going over where the teleporter is, something like that. But again, the point of this video is to show you that you could fully automate this in a five by four square and this is 100 percent automation this isn't this isn't you know we can do a little bit of this. no 100 percent automation you grab the board it'll automatically get put on here and as you can see as long as you have boards i don't have anywhere else to put this one but as long as you have boards you can continue to do this method and then the bread will cycle through the good part about having the freezer there though is so when you start your day like the next day you automatically have bread ready to go and you don't actually have to make it even if it's just one slice it's more than zero slices but i mean for me what i would like to do here is if if the uh say the end of the day is nearing and we're actually out we don't need it anymore i would take this out to make sure a full loaf would actually be put in there instead of having this two slices left but again that's kind of irrelevant you can make your own decisions um is there a way to compact this even more i don't think so let me get out of this for you guys i i don't think there's a way to compact this any better because you could have this all in a line, but then you still have to kind of jog this out like this to get the uh, the cheese on. Uh, the breadboards, you may say, what about putting the breadboards facing this with the combiner? Putting the breadboards here up and into here with this set to a smart grabber with a bread, bread on the breadboard. The answer is that doesn't work. I've tried it and it's very hit or miss whether the cheese will combine onto the toast first or the breadboard would combine onto it first. If it does that, it'll just push it through here or this grabber won't grab it at all because obviously it'll break. So for a foolproof method, this is the way to go. If you want to take your chances in using the combiner up here and having these here, you're welcome to do that. I just don't recommend it because of what I described um, before. So yeah, that, this is garlic bread in a nutshell. It's a pretty cool dish. It's, uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever add it to any of my runs, but it is in the game available on the Steam Workshop, among other things. I do have a special video coming out in the near future with another new dish that I think you guys will enjoy. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this automation video, please consider leaving me a like as well as a comment. Will you add this into your run? Do you think it's worthy? Should you call it garlic bread or should it be called cheesy bread because there's no garlic on it? I don't know. Jury's out. I would call it cheesy bread if it would be up to me. And a side note that a breaded, a breadboard with a cheesy bread on it will serve up to three customers, similar to how the cheese boards um, how the cheese boards work, dissimilar to how the bread boards work, where that is one board per customer, not per, per three people. So it's a bit different. You just got to keep that in mind if you do choose that card and add it into your game. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you're enjoying this content, please hit that subscribe button. It would really help with the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next automation tutorial. Take care now.